All right, so new Ken Carson album. I don't normally make these kind of beats, but I thought I'd switch up for this one and try something different. Looks like for once I won't be making another Drake type beat. So in today's one, I'm going to be making a couple of beats instead of Ken Carson's new album, A Great Chaos. All right, I think the reference track I'm gonna use for the first one is like this, but I'm gonna increase the BPM a little bit. So instead of 147, I'm gonna put it to like 156, something like that. And cause I'm pretty inexperienced with this genre, I'm not gonna to think too much about what I'm doing. I'm just gonna kind of go with what I think sounds decent and then go from there. I wonder what VST I'm gonna use for this. Hmm. Take a guess, how many instances of serum am I gonna have by the time this beat's finished? This lead sounds so dumb. Wait, okay, I think I have an idea. <laughs> okay, not gonna lie, normally I would delete this project and forget I ever made it. Let's calm, we're switching out for today. I'm having way too much fun, okay. VST that's not serum, that's crazy. I'm thinking maybe a guitar or something. I haven't really used this plugin since 2018. I don't really know which presets are good. So now that it's time for the drums, I think I'm gonna use a new tool that I've picked up recently, which is the new multi-kit by Prod LLB. And I've been using this tool in my production recently, mostly to make different subgenres of trap. And I think the sounds help me push the envelope with what I'm comfortable with. So it's a really nice kit for experimentation, but it also has all the essential trap sounds that you need as well. But overall, highly recommend this kit. Prod LLB was even kind enough to provide me with an affiliate link. So if you're interested at all in using this kit in your own production, feel free to check out in the description. So now I'm gonna mess around with it and just see what I can do. Okay. Bro, the pucks in this kit are so strange. Right, I need a baseline real quick. There's a couple of alien 808s in there. I don't know if I have the facilities to use those, so I might just go for a simple one.
thing left to do is mix everything down and then arrange the beat. Alright, I think I've mixed everything down and arranged everything. I may have added a couple too many melodies because I'm kind of inexperienced with the subgenre. I don't know how many sounds is too many sounds. I've also added an acapella from one of the tracks on the album just to test if it sounds okay. I haven't really listened to it with the beat, so I might do that real quick. This must be like the most no thoughts head empty beat I've ever made. Like I don't think a single thought passed through my brain while I was making this. I think it still sounds pretty good though. I don't really know if it sounds like anything on the album, but I'm still happy with how it turned out. But for now I'm gonna move on to my second beat. All right, for the second beat, I'm gonna rely a bit more on the kit itself. So I'll be looking more into the one shots and accents part of the kit. So I don't know how close it's gonna sound to AGC, but either way, I'm just gonna give it a go. Okay, I think we found it. Um. I'm gonna slice this up a bit. I don't know how he comes up with some of these sounds. All right, let's start layering some stuff on top of this, so. This sound is so cursed, what is this? Oh, they got like a hundred effects on this thing. All right, I'm thinking one more thing and then I add drums. to fill up this melody a bit more, I need like a pad or something. All right, so far this sounds nothing like AGC, but I'm gonna mix this down and then add some drums. finish this one off i'm just gonna mix it down real quick arrange it and we'll see what it sounds like at the end so
Honestly, I think I prefer this one to the first one, I'm not gonna lie. Although it doesn't really sound like anything from AGC, so I kind of fumbled on that one, but either way, I think it's not sounding too bad, so I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with the drums though. Like, they still sound like trap drums, but they've got like their own unique style that I'm a big fan of, so I'll definitely be using this in my future production. And once again, thank you to Prod LLP and the Utopia Multi Kit for making this video possible. If you're interested in using any of the sounds in this video in your own production, there will be an affiliate link in the description for you to check out. Hopefully, if you're looking for some inspiration, this video helped you in some way. And of course, if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. So I'm going to play the final beat again and we could see what I could do better for next time.